Again, the music is so pretty for this. I'm sending the stream in a few more places before I officially start. Maybe I should, like, talk during this, <laughs> I guess. Um, right, I am actually have food in front of me so that I can eat and play. So, I do not want to go hungry. That is not good to go hungry while eating. Uh, wait, did I refill my water bottle? Okay, I did. <laughs> Gotta make sure I have water for this, because it can be drainful, undraining on me. Um... <clears throat> uh, one last place to post and then I should be good to start Now we can officially uh, start, I guess. Um, this is Pokemon um, The Last Nurse Joy, and I get to be a nurse. Ha 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 ha. Who trusted me with medicine? This is dangerous. Everyone should know. Mwa ha ha ha. <laughs> um, I mean, anyways. Um, yeah, I played a bit of this game before um i got the golden ending i i've seen the bronze and golden ending but the bronze i saw like point crow playing and i'm kind of proud i did better than him when i played it um on my own just to like have fun so uh yeah uh Anyways, um, I also need to plug in my phone because my phone's on low battery, like very low battery. Alright, we're gonna start the stream. It's such a pretty game. I love it so much. Um... Hang on, I want to check something in options. I didn't realize. Oh! Oh, hell yeah. L yeah, make that fast. Oh, hell yeah, I can customize. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna see what I like. Ooh, yes. Text entry screen size I'll keep it on small for now since it looks good on the I can see it and lets me see Streamlabs still so yeah cancel new game Red scurry to the Pokemon Center, protecting the exhausted and fated Pokemon from further harm. 
everybody thinks it's the end of the world when their team faints for the first time. A lot of the kids feel stupid when they find out the machine takes three seconds to heal them all. But they'll never tell you that. You probably don't remember your first time, just life- because life just went on. I'm adjusting the volume a bit. Um, <clears throat> after all, it's Nish Joy's job to put Pokemon back into fighting shape. Do 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 do! Yo, People all around the world, count countless generations, depend on the healing machine. Still, one might wonder what their job was like before th that machine existed. Oh! <laughs> it's, it's wiki. It's very easy to forget that at some points, they didn't. Uh, did easy to forget that, some that someone put pen to paper and invented it. Easy to forget that one Pokemon Center, somewhere at the very bottom of the world, had to be the last to get it. November 21st, 196X. And Taxis Research Facility. Ooh, I like it's a fireplace I hear. Wow. Oh, it's Ida. Oh, Chansey, I've got to show you this new office. They've got everything. A blood analyzer, a model e Lux X-ray. Oh, I know. If only mainland Pokemon Centers got this much funding. Well, I'm just chilling. Ha. Huh. No wonder they asked me if I... Oh, I don't know. Experience difficulties performing simple tasks or perform well under stress before I got transferred to Antaxis. I mean, th that just makes sense. So... Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah, you kind of have to be good at that in order to like do a lot of medical stuff from what I understand. Um, I've been trusted with hospital What? I haven't touched anything Hang on, uh Hey, no, I need to make sure I'm not breaking the rules in somewhere, uh, for a moment. Hang on Yeah, okay, I'm safe. Oh, it came from that way. So so quick to judge. Chancy. Oh! Please, nurse. Ida? That's your name, isn't it? Yes, it is, doctor. Go lightly. Oh, God. I need you to fix her tail. Oh. What did you do? Marley, come down. It's her first day. Ah, oh, not the skitty. I'm afraid he dropped an ice core on it. <laughs> With a big eye. <laughs> Could we concentrate? <laughs> I can't even get to finish reading it. I see. May I have her Pokeball, Doctor? Of course. Your skitty is in safe hands. <laughs> I should I ask him for context or start treatment immediately? Well, we're going to ask. Doctor Go lightly. Yes. What led up to the injury? I had just finished moving one of the ice core samples from the drilling site into our cold storage room. McLeod held it from the back, and I held it from the back. Oh, they McLeod held it from the front, and I held it from the back. But that morning, someone had finally come through to, and fixed the crooked step. One that 
he dropped it. At the very least, do you remember what part the the part what part hit the tail? I the corner of the tube, I think. Dang. Ouch. Bruh, you're a horrible pet owner. <laughs> okay, anything else I can ask? Please. Uh, how did Skitty act? In what way? It was all a blur. Uh, could Skitty move her tail? Could she move her tail? No, it did not. Not even a twitch. You'd think she would have tried at least before realizing it hurt. Ah, uh, I see. You're absolutely sure? Yes. Then there's a possibility that she couldn't. Okay. Okay, could she walk? I, I think she tried to before I picked her up. But yes, I remember she was dragging her tail on the ground. Dane, poor kitty. Uh, Dr. Golightly, let's see, ask for anything else, because I don't want to start operation until I understand what's going on with the kibby. Was she distressed? Actually, they were fine. The cloud! Uh, I don't understand that one. Um, your skate will be is going to be okay. I, um, it's uh, quite the occurrence for my first day, Doctor Will. Oh, hey, 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 there's an error. It's not Ida talking right now. It's 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 the big it's Doctor Will. Come, oh please, Ida, call me Kaz, and I know you'll do great. Uh, hey, McCloud. I'm sorry this is happening on your first day. Goat lightly can be a lot when he gets stressed. Okay. Ready, Chansey? We're gonna do operation. Let's not kill it. <laughs> Aw. Right, the reason I mentioned that, it looks like a hospital, Chansey. It looks like it was designed with the O. DT process in mind. It's a terrible acronym, but a good principle. The left side is for observation. That stores everything you'll give that'll give me information about the Pokemon's condition. Everything I can't get from just interacting with it, that is. We got stethoscopes, thermometers, even that x-ray machine. The right side is for diagnosis. Once I've ordered some more books, it's all It'll have all the reading material I need. Everything to help me interpret the information I got from observing. Oh, and they've got a copy of Poke Anatomy. And the uppermost side is the treatments. There I'll be able to collect up to three tools I can use to make sure Skitty heals successfully. Only once I know what the exact issue is, of course. There's also some things I can give to in Skinny in the meantime, such as painkillers in the toy closet to help her feel more at ease. And the right next to the gauze is a typewriter in case I want to write up some details for instructions and get stuff. Slightly empty at the moment, but that can be soon that can soon be fixed. Once I've decided for sure which tools to use on the Pokemon, I'll tell you the plan and we can treat the patient together. Aww. Right, let's see how Kitty's Skitty's doing. Oh, yeesh! Hi, right, Skitty. I'm just going to take a look at your tail. Oh. Look closer at the injury. That might be difficult as she keeps um licking the wound. Ouch. What should I do? Touch her tail. We're just gonna rapid fire, boys! 
I don't remember how many times I need to press, but like... I'm just trying to eat <laughs> my food at the same time. Mm. I poked it 59 times, oh no. She couldn't feel a thing. Notebook has been updated. Yes, let's put Skitty on there. I probably have no skills at the moment. Oh god, the bone is shattered. Poor Skibby baby. Okay. Let's go to the medical. Mm. Just use the toy to make her feel better. I think it's laughing at me. Aw. That's sweet. Okay. In that case, um... Maybe we could give it something to drink? Aw, she's not really interested in drinking right now. Aw. Sorry, I was taking a drink too. <laughs> okay. If it's not that, then, um... We could give her painkillers. Um, I want to check the notebook at first. Check the notebook. Okay, she's... Okay. Let's give you painkillers so that you don't have to worry. Okay. Maybe we can use hydrogen peroxide. We should probably put some gauze, gauze, ga gauze. <laughs> okay. What should I do? Pet her head. There, there. Oh, she goes a bleed. <laughs> Oh, she's still licking her wound. Uh, check the notebook. There, there. There, there. We're, um, I do kind of want to check some... Do I have anything in here that could be useful? No. Okay, got it. I mean, that makes no sense why I would need it, but... Uh, I think we need a cone of shame. Yes, you added the Kama Shane to the treatments. And I know calcium is good for bones. Yes. She may need a rest order. Yes. You added the rest order to the final treatments. Um, is there anything else we can give to this kitty at the moment? Um, let's check the notebook. Um, 
she surprisingly has a lot of more energy. She's good at comfort and skills. Something I want to point out to people who haven't played before, whether you're watching now or watching later. Um, that, the, the skill, energy, and comfort is very crucial and you need to keep track of that when playing. Um, in order to sc score good, because it can affect the multiple endings. Especially since, yeah, it also will affect what happens to the Pokemon is if they heal properly or not. And what happens is we want them to do well. So, yeah. So, yay! Let's say, let's go! Um, I don't think there's much I can do for her. Because, like, yeah, um... Let's check the books, maybe? Uh, what's this? No. Tufts and tails and whistles. Balance. Um... We'll choose to amputate tails that won't heal correctly. We may... Might need to do amputate, but I don't know how we would get to that. Are we able to, like, talk to the owner? <laughs> hang on, hang on. I want to see if we could, like, go out and talk to the owner. The situ- the situ- the, the, I don't know how to pronounce the Pokemon's name. Okay. Go lightly. May we have a talk? Um... No, I can't really do anything else. Okay. Oh, he really wants to apologize. That's sweet. Okay. Uh, Skitty? Yeah, duh. Okay. Um, I think that's all I can do. Oh, it's needing. I can't see. I think I have a plan. My current plan is wrap the skitty's tail wound in gauze. Give the skitty a cone of shame. Describe three calcium gummies a day. The question is, am I sure this will work? Yeah! Yes, thank you. I don't know whether it is a good idea. Stay in center order. Um, I'm afraid of going out because like, what if Golightly can't take care of her? Yeah, I don't think I can. I ha might have to do either a stay in or a stay in order or, or um, Rest order. I don't agree with the rest order, but at this point, I am concerned for the skitty. Hi girl, how are you doing? Check notebook. She doesn't have any energy. Uh, can we give her something to fix that? Would you like a plain pastry? She seems to like it! Yay! That's good, Skibby. Skitty. Yes, we, we need you to be in less pain. Okay. Chansey, I think I know what we're gonna do today. <laughs> 
continue. My plan is rub the kitty's tail and paws. Give the kitty a cone of shame. Kitty, prepare, prescribe. Question is, am I sure it will work? I honestly don't know because, like, Mr. Go Lightly is probably not the best for this. Um, since. From my understanding, a lot of the Pokemon, the scientists here is let their Pokemon take control over them, basically. Like, it's going to take a lot. And the Pokemon needs to be amputated, but, like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> let's go with it. Then let's begin. Dr. Go Lightly, I've come to a decision. Yes, yes. So I elected not to keep Giddy in my Giddy in my care, and instead I sent it back to Doctor Light Go Lightly. But as it turned out, the Giddy's injury were much more serious than I thought. When I sent her back to Go Lightly, she still couldn't walk properly. The big tail got in the way. But as we've already established, Doctor Go Lightly isn't a biologist. He thought it was part of the healing process, and that it eventually pass. <coughs> it took him two weeks to come back. You still think it, it was his fault? I... No. No, of course not. As you guys can tell, a few years... A uh, year or so... Some years have passed. That was one hell of a first day. Hell of an icebreaker, huh? But um... Tss. So... I heard you uh, place an order for one of those healing machines. It'll come with our next shipment, right? Yeah. Surprisingly, it wasn't that expensive. Oh, that's... What's it called again? A uh, revive? It's revive. Two words, not one. Wait, oh, I just sent in the order for it. Wait, so she literally is purposely putting herself out of business. But, uh, aren't you a healer? That's the saying, it's my responsibility to take care of the injured, and however that job looks in the future. Like it or not, I have to accept the change. That's noble of you. Heh, <laughs> thanks, I try. When's the next ship arriving, by the way? I forget. About four days. Weather is fantastic at this time of year, so it won't be much of a problem. It's only negative nine degrees. Huh. Neat. <laughs> Chansey, baby. Huh? What is it, Chansey? Uh, it's past. It's half past. I'll go in a sec, okay? Okay. I just hope you won't feel not useless. But it's fine, Scarlet, honestly. Some way, some say if a nurse is doing less work, they're doing something right. Oh, right. Speaking of that, I've got an appointment to get to. Oh, alright then. I'll... Let you go. Am I the only one who doesn't... I feel like they... I've kind of shipped them, honestly. <laughs> Oh, it's a Gwawiv. Look at the doggy. Oh, you're Dr. Clementines, aren't you? Who's a good boy? You are? Aww. Oh, little catty. There you are. Pet them. Are you sure you can't go back on this? Little catty now appreciates you. Still a little shy around me, it seems. Hi, Gothito. How's she doing? A little tired, I imagine. Sometimes I feel like you take care of me more than I take care of you. Ha. Huh. Aw. Well, if I, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. What? Wait. Nani? 
Wait, was Gothitelle using uh Cassandra to talk to me? Hold hold up. What the what the fudge did I just What was that? I was talking to Gothitelle and I know they have the power to hijack people like in her dialogue. So did she just use her owner to communicate? Cause like those questions were addressed to Gothitelle. Like, huh? Nani? Meh. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh, growl, 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 growl down and Kyogre. Okay. Let's just go in. Ah, oh, the Pikachu is so fluffy. Uh, Doctor, good to see you. Uh, likewise. First of all, thank you for taking the time to do this. Everything's been p piling up at once. The Neutrino telescope needed cleaning. Scarlet wanted to meet with me, and then blah, 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 blah. There, it's no problem. Okay. So what's bothering him? Well, as you can see, he's all fluffed up. He's grumpy about it too. I can't even brush him properly without gaining the shock. And obviously don't tell him this. What yesterday? I think he fried my laptop's motherboard. Well did he or didn't he? I've got a Pokedex in my office. Yes, but I I'll just I'll just put him back in the ball. Keep him on the operating table, and I'm sure he won't destroy anything. Still, he's probably nothing life threat. It's probably nothing life threatening. This dude. I'll take. I'll just take these tissues. Honestly, either way, it probably a good idea if I can keep him away from your electronics. Yeah, basically. Thanks again for taking him. Anyways, I'll be in my dorm fixing the laptop. It's the third on the right. Let me know if you figure out what's matter with Pikachu. Uh, and uh, can I visit you if anything come up, comes up? Yes? Don't worry, I'll knock. Good, great. My mind just went somewhere dirty for that. Okay. <laughs> I am. I apologize to everyone. Um. Sayonara. All right. Who keeps an electric type in an astro astrophysics lab anyway? Sorry, I know that's not the point. Um, yes, I want to take a tissue. No. I want to take one just in case. Um, I need to talk to the dude again uh, for moments. Uh, doctor? Yes? Oh, he sneezed! <laughs> Anyways. Doctor, yes? Uh, how has Pikachu act acted? Well, for the last few days, he's lost his appetite and most of his energy. Even so, he's still, he's still hot to the touch if I can't and touch him. You're probably going to uh, zap by him at least once. Uh, it's all part of the job. Have they thrown up? Only once. Doctor. Um. How are you? Like death mostly. Oh, maybe it's the long eyes getting to me, but. So, did P Pikachu may have caught it from the human. I, uh, Chansey? Let's get ready. Let's go, Chansey. Begin! I didn't have to use the sink. I probably should have used the thinking chair last time. Okay, uh, Pikachu. Okay, um, I'm gonna put on some gloves because 
maybe like it should help me from like uh getting shocked by pikachu pet their head it's okay pikachu it's okay there we go what should i do um sit and watch Here's your tissue. Ew. The phlegm is... I think that's phlegm. It's definitely greenish. That definitely narrows things down. Hope it's not contagious. Check the book. Apparently it appears to be sneezing and wet coughing with greenish plague. Or phlegm. Um... He... Definitely... Um, wait. Back. Um, let's check thermometer. Seems like it's feverish. Let's check the heart. Uh, 310 BPM seems high. Yeah, even I know that's de definitely, definitely high. Blood pressure? I don't want to get its blood, but we might need to. And... Let's see if we could, um... <laughs> Aida really wants to use this, I guess. Me uh, I don't understand this uh, measurement, so, uh... Hold on, hold on. This thing is only supposed to output electricity when Pikachu uses moves. Is it constantly buzzing with that much electricity? Pikachu, are you okay? Holy jeez. I. Wait, he has a f fever, right? Um, I need to look back at it. Um, watch him. Uh, temperature 40. Oh yeah, that is hot. Um, even though I know- th I don't know how I'm able to read a bit of Celsius. Uh, I was discovered that apparently 42 Celsius is like the equivalent of 100 and- Above a, like 115 or 118 maybe. Uh, Fahrenheit. Which, that's how hot it gets in Arizona in summer. And like- from what I understand, normal body temperature in Fahrenheit when using thermometers is about 90 degrees. Um, give or take. So, yeah. Um, yeah, this Pikachu, maybe he needs an ice pack. Let's give him the ice pack. It should help. You want me to put on your head? Here you go. Aww. Um, let's give you some water. Stay hydrated. My, you're thirsty. Aww. Poor baby. Oh, you're still sneeze. <laughs> you're still not okay. Okay. Ah, here it goes. Sick leaves. Um. Clear. Nope. Nope. Uh, definitely not allergens. It's the flu. Lasts about a week. High fever. He has green phlegm and is coughing. Um, is that it though? Is it just the flu? Um, uh, depression is a thing that dark dragon that Pokemon some Pokemon get. That's sad. Um, yeah, I think it's just the flu. 
Aww, poor baby. He's sick. Thankfully, it's just the flu. Um, what do Pokemon normally need for the flu? Because I think vitamin C is good for sicknesses. Vitamin C seem to be good. Yes. Put that away. Uh, arrest order. Because Pikachu, baby Pikachu needs to rest. Um, let's give him a blanket. Too hot for them. Oh, poor baby. Check notebook. Um, he's very s sneezing, coughing. Uh, is there something I could give him? No. Um, I don't think painkillers would do much. Wait, what if I give him Prime Nectar? Because it's like honey, and honey helps with coughing. It only sniffed it. I can't even smell that stuff without wanting to brush my teeth. Okay. I know it. Pikachu is bad for this. Dang it. I wish there was honey I could give him. Um. Let's potentially give him food eat it mm, I couldn't finish it okay let's give you more water though okay check notebook Okay, um, well, it's fever went down. <laughs> Dane, okay, um, I think I got everything. Hang on. Uh, we got, we're prescribing him some gummies, including some, um, a stay in ho home order, because he needs that. Chansey, I think I know what might be wrong with Pikachu. Continue. He's come down with the flu. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Let's go, Pikachu! Come on, Pikachu, let's go! Um, Tajiri, t Tajiri. Sorry, were you in the middle of something? Oh, just soldering. How's Pikachu? Are they still fluffed up? Well, yes. There isn't anything I could do about that. The good news is that you just have to keep Pikachu in your dorm. As you said, nothing life threatening. Just keep it hydrated until the fever passes. I believe that's why it's fluffed up. It's static, a static fever. Oh, poor thing. Yes, go lie down. I'm glad I could clear things up. Pikachu, I hope you get well soon. Aww. Yes, thank you again. Wait a sec. One last thing to jury. I have a hunch it has how Pikachu came down with the flu in the first place. Well, duh! <laughs> His owner was sneezing. He... Yeah, duh, he caught it from, like, a person if his owner is giving him. Uh, is also sick. Oh. I did spend most of last week feeling 
mar margidly marg a magin I felt like I was going to die apparently <laughs> and I'm just getting over it now that'll be it then I sorry I didn't actually know that Pikachu could catch human flu you think they would be incompatible actually Pokemon usually don't catch it, but the Pikachu spent so much time around humans that the virus actually made the leap. Should I get us some masks? Yes, that's a good idea. Dr. Will should have some. I'll just tie a knot at the back and there. Can I see? Oh, that's the best thing I've seen all winter. Let me just screenshot that. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. Ah! <laughs> And the man had been walking around with the flu. He did a, a damn good job at hiding it, honestly. It's understandable. I'm Steeny wins with sick days, too. Agreed. I can't? <laughs> I've been working the same telescope as him. Ah, shit, shit. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. Um, I wish Destiny was here so I, she can help me with this because I am struggling so much. Um. Yeah, I I kind of wish it was easier to like speak French. What's done is done, as the cal as the Calo Calosian say. Yes, you've said that. Do the Calosians have a word for disinfecting every single doorknob in the lab? Doctor! I hope he gets very well soon. Yes, I hope so too. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some rest. Ida? I may have said this before, but you're doing good work. I, oh, you really don't have to. And if you ever do leave, you will be one of the most comp Competent nurse joys on the mainland. Wait. Hold on. Did did someone say I was leaving? He was just saying Jean. Did Scarlet say something? No. Right, right. Sorry. Have a good night then. Three days before ice break. My place second on the right. Oh, oh, look at the little baby buggy. Shh, it's cold tonight. Night, Larvesta. Thanks for warming the bed. Much appreciated. Night, Chansey. Night, Del. Oh, wait, you're not there. Del? Like Del Fox? Del Caddy? Del Fox! Oh wait! Yeah, that would make sense with Del Fox. Um, because if I remember, the character likes psychic types a lot. Uh, and on the eve of midwinter, as the bell tower strikes long midnight on the Sinhoan... Sinhoan... Sinhoan League... A young shell takes the final steps of their Pokemon journey. The old champion shall pass on to finally bring in the new 
She guards the Hall of Fame. She thinks you're a scrub. She's... Champion Ida! You better run while you can, kid. I've won with the same team for 20 years. What do you have over me? Just one? Hey, I hate your Elite Four. They're selfish, they're frauds, they're mean, and they and they made my Pokemon fate. They're not meant to do that, you know. This sounds like a brat. <laughs> yes, they're meant to fate. What the fudge? Aren't you gonna heal me so it's fair? No, that's not how it works. If you don't, I'm gonna tell on you. If you try, I'll... Here's the thing. That's how the Elite Four works. You, you don't get... You don't get to heal your Pokemon between. Like, it's all about you trying to go in with all, as much as you can. Like, bruh, this kid sounds like a brat. Honestly. What in the... Scold. You? It's cold. I'll find you a blanket. What is she doing? It's okay, Z. Just think of chasing a bunny bee or something. Just don't fall asleep. How does this keep happening? It's winter. That's why. Ho ho and Nians are whims about the cold. Ida? Ida! I yes, Scarlet, it's me. You're awake? I am now. I might need help. <laughs> Look, if you need your thermostat fixed, ask Ty Jury. Actually, maybe not. He's got the flu. I said, y you know, I, I should probably just show you. Do you mind? Well, now you made me curious. Let's, let's, go, let's go. Aww. Oh. Listen, I'm sorry I woke you up, but no, no, I can see the problem. Yeah, I, I got up this morning. Zoe, 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 I can't pronounce Pokemon. Had gone stalking about the facility. All the heat's gone out of the, my dorm. And he's down there on the carpet trying to drag himself. Literally drag himself over to me. He's never done that before. Look at him. He barely, he's barely holding his head up. I don't know much about hyperthermia, but... I think he's past the point where one sheet blanket is going to help. You have the more advanced blankets? Y yeah, you can say that. So let's get him warmed up. Hmm? Okay, cool. I'll be waiting at the reception desk. Okay. Oh, crap. I meant to run. Ready? Aye. Um, let's see. Z Y Lucis. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Z Z Lucis. Uh, let's see. What's uh, what what is Z like? <laughs> is that supposed to be a three or Sokka? I see in the chat. Or is that supposed to be just a <laughs> hashtag emoji? <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> Is there anything I should know about him? Well, f first of all, them fits better. You know, since the two heads are technically two separate consciousnesses. The one on the right I call a uh, right. Damn, poor, poor, poor Z. <laughs> and if I'm addressing both of them, I call them Z. Neither of them are good at sharing how to feed them. Uh, it's a process. Uh, what I do is, I make them their dinner. And here's the key, I pretend it's for me. Oh? I make a whole song and dance about it. I talk about how yummy the food is, how expensive it was, and then, I leave the room. And when I come back, they've bonded over their mutual desire to steal things and eaten. <laughs> do you have to act annoyed every time? I used to. But it works either way. Either of them are good at sharing. What won't they fight over? Well, I've trained them not to touch any of my stuff. I drenched it in that bitter nail polish. That one that stops you from biting. Ah, uh, that's... 
what's the word? Pavo Pavo Pav Pav Pavlovian conditioning. Neither of them are good at sharing. I did not meant to press that again. Uh, when you want to give your dog some medicine. <laughs> I mean, basically. <laughs> Come on, come on. Yes, yes, please. I did not mean to ask how to feed them again. Ah. Uh, never done that before? What do you mean by that? He's never done that before, as in ever, never asked for you for help? Um, sometimes when I come back from the lab, they're clearly cold. <laughs> but they won't let on. I just run them a hot bath and they perk up most of the time. And this is a common occurrence. Mm, even before I came from Hoenn, they're, they've naturally run cold. I've never known why that is. Yeah, Sokka, you're right. Big dragon time. <laughs> Dragons are weak to ice. Yes, that's what Dr. Will said. <laughs> The other Pokemon on my team, Castworm, Jumpluff, and Alteria, they do fine. Wait, that's not right. Alteria's a... And also, Jumpluff is a grass type. Like, wait. <laughs> grass are weak to ice. Ugh, it's early. I'm concerned. I'm, I'm, I guess the Fluffy does help. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Castworm's weak to ice, too? Um... Let's ask Carla who's leaving the facility. I didn't say anything about that. Did you hear someone something from Garcia? I thought you two didn't talk. Because he's the kind of person who would claim something like that. Uh sorry I, I asked. Okay. Let's so go. Let's go with Chan C. The one who isn't weak uh to ice is the one who transformed based on the hail. Oh yeah, that's right, he has a hail form. Begin! Yahoo! This should be simple. Okay, let's look at them. Oh! <laughs> look closely. Um, so there are no frostbites. Thank God, because those would be painful and really hard to deal with. From what I remember. Um, I want to pet them. And now, pet the right head. Hmm. Hmm. Aww, they're happy. Oh wait, it looks like they're doing uwu mouths. <laughs> okay, um. Notebook has been updated. Um. Oh wait, I should probably get more actual readings. Um, thermometer. Um. <laughs> both he both Z heads really just, yo, both Z heads really just went uwu. <laughs> okay, 32. Um, yeah, that is, would be below if, I hate having contr um, go back and forth between like Celsius and Fahrenheit. I barely know it. <laughs> Okay. Blood pressure. I don't think I should take the blood test. Give them a blood test because, um. Seems normal. I don't want to give them a blood test. Um. Check the notebook. Moderate hypothermia, but as of yet, no frostbite. This didn't happen because of exposure. What should I do? Uh, let's give them a insulin blanket. Alright, we're going to give them the blanket roll when it's time. Let's give them the hot chocolate. Oh, hot vanilla. Damn. Uh, it drank the whole cup in three seconds. That's only slightly terrifying. <laughs> Insulin blanket! <laughs> Don't quote me on that, please! 
heat pad. Heat pad. Do I want to add? Yes, very much add that. Um, we could add the gauze, which would help. Gauze. Yes. Um, how are you guys doing? Uh, check the notebook. I am doing zero skills with this because what I'm trying to do is just warm it up. Um, maybe I could try giving it some more vanilla, hot vanilla. I don't have any other hot drinks. Drink it all up. Yeah, okay. What if I keep petting them? Aww. Okay, um, check notebook. They are not comfortable at all. Aww. Um, am I able to go get maybe another heat source? Am I able to leave and try to find a heat source? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, cause like, I know Lar Larvesta was like in here. Oh, okay. I guess we can't get Larvesta to help. Because fire ties would make it warmer, so... Just straight up leave. <laughs> I mean, I would leave the facility if I can, but like, nah. Uh, let's see. Um... I think that's the best I could do. I could... Do I... I don't need to do anything else, right? Let's go in the thinking chair to think for a moment. Hyperthermia is what happens when the body can't contain its core temperature anymore, and it drops too low. To cure it, you need to both stop the Pokemon from losing more heat and reduce introduce more heat to its core. Yeah, so at this moment, I just need to talk to Chansey. Am I ready to begin treatments? Yes. This should work. I just tuck this closure to, to your heart and there perfectly cozy Scarlet your zealous is going to be okay luckily you caught it when it was just only moderately hyperthermic I'll keep watch over them until their condition stabilizes but you can stay too if you want of course I won't touch anything as long as they are insulated, the only treatment is a heat source placed on the head, armpits, etc. etc. In other words... Damn it. <sighs> ah! <laughs> what are you doing? That's warm! Warm is good! They're, they're just like that. Uh, I honestly thought you two would be better than this. But that was the last heat pack I had. No, what am I supposed to stick under the blanket? Do you have to stick them under the blanket? Yes, it's because... Because otherwise I wouldn't do it. Oi, Elda, what? <laughs> does, she, does she really have that much of a vendetta against dark types? Okay, let's just take a second. Like, a Dino's cute, I like it, but, and, like, its evolutions is cool, but, like, god damn, I, I, god damn, why, what's wrong with dark types? Yes, I, I need to think, there's probably a spare one in the lounge, fridge. Like the, like the other three, they just ev eviscerated, ev just destroyed. Uh, right then, since you're the Z expert, huh, you talk to the, to Z. Chansey, you monitor their temperature. I'll find something else they won't fight over somewhere in the facility. Like what? That I don't know. Call me if things go wrong. 
Uh, there is one thing that I can use, and that is... Larvesta! I might ask a favor of you. Would you be okay with warming up as Z? Uh, describe Pokemon? Ooh. And they're very friendly, aww. Uh, hopefully they don't kill the Larvesta. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we could get a few more heat pat sources. Um, the caddy! Hi, baby! One of the sharing popsicles. <laughs> <laughs> of the sharing pot with the two sticks because then they have to share Aww. okay um <gasps> I can I it's radiating heat what the fudge <laughs> yes please Clementine hmm may I borrow him mm-hmm he obtained Arcanine. Good night. Yippee. Um. What, what is in here? Um. So I wanted to explain that the first time I played this game for just for myself and it was at this moment. Not this moment, but I think it was later on. I come in here and there was a shadowy figure in here and it starts being creepy. Um Let's check back in that room later. Um I'm just checking for more stuff. Can I go in the room? Hi go lightly. Uh can I take this? It's a firestone. Thank you, go lightly. Uh, even though I do not want to care talk to you because you're the reason your cat died. Uh, lost his tail, I mean. He's <laughs> gonna buy your dog for the night, thanks. <laughs> that is basically what's happening. Like, hey, can I can I just te steal your dog? <laughs> it's it's okay, it's totally not gonna die. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Choose a heat source. Larvesta! Ah, It's so cute! <laughs> oh, They don't want to, want to get into a battle with a bug type, do they? Oh, That was adorable! I may wait a little bit just to make sure they don't get in temptation. Now let's see if we can get these heat packs cleaned up. <laughs> he also asked no questions. <laughs> yes, that's true. The dude literally just handed me his dog. <laughs> sure, you can borrow my dog for the night. I'm just going to sleep. The dude probably has hyperthermia now because that dog was keeping his room um warm. Um, can I? Give you more heat sources. I need to find something to test you with. Uh, well, we could probably. Bruh. Well, let's check the uh, thermometer. It won't let me check its temperature. I need to check. It's the monitor. All right, let's check the stethoscope. The seth, the steth, the 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 cope. It's definitely low. Okay. Um. Blood pressure. I just burp. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> he didn't want the warmth. Um. Seems normal. Uh, and I can't take the goddamn temperature, which is what I need the most. It's not letting me check its temperature. Well, damn. 
Not quite what I need. Can I give them a cone? Um... What? Sure, um... Okay. Um, can I th think? Because I'm kind of stumped since I can't take the goddamn temperature. Oh, okay. Just can't. Very low. Okay. So I assume that's why it runs cold. Yeah, look, I'll just schedule another appointment for you. Cool. Oh, it's okay. Hmm? I suppose I shouldn't leave her alone in there for too long. What's wrong? No, the nurse doesn't want to fight you. She likes all Pokemon equally, even Dirk types. That's her job. Well, I think we have two different definitions of what my job is. Oh, who am I kidding? What the fu- <laughs> Is there a way to like increase my skill level with like <laughs> this section? Like, huh? Two days before I break ice break. One day later. Well, uh... <sighs> guess that was useless. Oh, no one's here. Oh, that's 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 sad. Oh. Okay. Uh, Montre, uh, however you pronounce that. I just want to. Well, I just. I was just about to venture outside. That's very nice. So I won't see you for dinner. I'll be in the Pokemon Center if you need me. That sounds depressing. Come on, Ida. Idaho. I almost walked by it. Hi, Chansey. Hello. I can't talk to you. Chansey? Would you mind standing at the counter for me today? I have a feeling no one's coming. I, I just do. It's like, totally. I might turn on the radio, sleep a while. Turn around now, cause we are not welcome anymore. Other news. If I'm right, the walkie-talkie is used this wavelength. Someone was- someone always has to keep in contact with someone adventuring outside. Which... makes sense, honestly. There, they're beautiful. Ha- Hanyu- Hanyunani? The colony size must have grown by at least a hundred Apoleons since last winter, and and I've seen so I've never seen so many Piplups alive. There's a possibility that the colonies merged, like I theorized. This kind of this kind of evolution is what I spent years studying. Can you see him? The alpha you've been tracking? Hey, there's Clementine, the dude who like gave us his dog without questioning. Um. I can. Hold on, he's he's coming up to me. Oh? What's he doing? No! Dr. Garcia! Jacques! Jean! What's happening? Did he just... Hold on, I'm coming! I time to go see if they're okay because it sounds like they both just died or one died got kidnapped and the other one decided to run after come on let's go let's go one moment clementine there's a knocking at the door epolian do you need a nurse I'm a good human. I 
I can help you. Are you leading me somewhere? This is totally not sus. The ship port. Something must have hurt you here. Some kind of rusty equipment? Heavy machinery? A Pokemon fight even? Still though. How did you knock that door? F in the chat for Ida! <laughs> I guess. What are you? Its horn is bent out of shape. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ida. Montre Montre Ida, wake up. What was that? Whatever you think it is, it is not what it seems. You you tackled me and a Napoleon. I think I understand what's going on. It wasn't really Napoleon. Take my Pokemon, my Myelotic, my Tux Tuxel, my Kudra. Tell tell Dr. Clementine they're safe and well. Dr. Clementine left. He's out looking for you. Get back inside. And until I say so, make sure absolutely nothing gets in or out. I need to stay outside and reason with the Thane. What Thane? My ditto wants my attention. Very, very badly. Hi. Right. Rip. <laughs> yep, rest in peace for um, the Napoleon, like, everyone in this t uh, area. What the? Did you see them? Garcia, I mean. It's minus 20 out there. Ida, move. Are they hurt? I'm so worried about the doctors as you are, but... Everyone, why don't we talk one at a time? Well, this should be interesting. Shh, all of you. All I know is Garcia said his ditto's gone rogue. Oh, his pet flubber? A shapeshifter, more like. You've seen the mov you've seen movies? If it has a good reference, it'll become a perfect copy of the Pokemon, right down to strength, moves, only stopping at its mind. I have no idea how much of Garcia's explanation was confused exaggeration. I have no idea why it took the form of a beat-up Apollyon, but... I plan to catch this thing before tonight gets more confusing than it already is. Well, where is it? This is the only entrance or exit. If the emergency door is open, the alarms go off. Nothing bigger than an insect is getting in or out. Um, does anyone see that yellow speck? <laughs> On that note, does anyone have a cup and a sheet of paper? Ah! Scatter! Begin! Okay, um... Espeon! Espeon, why are you in here? Why are there two Espeons? So what this one so fun fact this is the Espeon that you can get it's the same Espeon but the game just decided to like forget the rules. Espeon, how are you in here? Wait, Garcia Oh god. I also wanna check this room just cause. Huh. Nothing. I- that's good. I don't want creepiness. Well? What's going on? I- uh, I think I saw it head into the lounge. Oh no. Look at them. That's a Pokemon that saw something they weren't meant to see. They all look like they want out, but... So what a ditto. Pikachu, I see you've gotten better. It's much healthier looking than it was before, but it still looks cheerful. Too cheerful. Touch his cheeks. A 
Okay. Z, you look... We meet again. It looks stubbornly angry at most things. Um, oh, I could give it something, um, is there anything I could give it? <gasps> Heat pad. Um, let's see, would fight. Dead. <laughs> is that in response to the Pikachu shocking me? <laughs> Okay, so Z doesn't do anything with a heat pack. Old Delcaddy. Its tail is definitely gone. It's still got the correct numbers of ears, baubles, etc. Oh, wait, crap. Uh, I want to. Touch the tail nub. Why did it hiss? The other kitty wouldn't have done that. Yeah, the other Del Caddy, when you touched Del Caddy's tail, it didn't do anything. Like, it, it was fine with you touching it because it wasn't in pain. And Del Caddy trusts us. So, surely. Accuse of being ditto. Uh, Ida, turn around. Oh! How what? Cass, honey, that's a cushion. Ah, uh, Togetic! Fly! Uh, I see. Uh, hey, Will. Uh, um. Someone's at the door. Garcia! I see you lost track of it. Yes, I... I saw it go the way... Right this way. Uh, surely you saw a took a kit tick run past you. I am ashamed to admit that I was bested by my own ditto. Before my very eyes, I saw it turn into a... A Lugia. A gra gra green, grainy and sharp edge like the photo he's, he and I saw it... Saw in... It's in a year ago. I barely escaped Ida. I doubt it'll try the same. Try it'll try the same in here. It collapsed the entire building. Wait, so it turned into an Napoleon, a Lugia, and then it turned into a Joltik? How fast is this thing exactly? Extremely. Hey, hey! Did anyone tell Clementine you were back safe? I'm getting my coat. Clementine's Arcanines are going nuts, too. Shoot. Let's check on McCloud. Oh! McCloud! McCloud! Scarlet! Huh? What? What happened to you? I was looking at this box and something hypnotized me. I... Oh, no. I'm getting out of here. What was here? What the? The logbooks had a page ripped out of it. On the uh, one side of the rip is a blank page. The other is Dr. Clementine's expedition to the glacier last week. Me and the most recent entry was, has been ripped out. Who would, who would that be? I... Now time to check on the Arcan- the puppies. Let's not kill the puppy, please. I don't know why I'm obsessed with checking this room. Holy jeez. Hi. You! You're not very slick. Clementine's Arcanines would never destroy their own equipment. Dr. Arkinvas! Yes, you! Get in here and guard the door. I, I, Ida? It's a radio, just like mine, but it's been scratched and burned. 
The tape inside is torn up and destroyed, and there's something else I can play. Hey, right. we're playing. Oi, I, we, I call him T Tuscany. Tuscany, the biggest Wolverine I've ever seen in the Southern Ocean. My Lutic, my Lutic, calm down there. See, when when they make their mating calls, my my Lutic gets jealous. No, Jean, recall the Pokemon. Do you know what'll happen if you hurt the wild Pokemon here? This whole continent is legally a wildlife reserve, John. Jean. Your research, au revoir. Your job, Harira. <laughs> How do you say that? You do realize I can't stop them fighting just by snapping my fingers. He, so he didn't stop his Milotic from attacking wild Pokemon. Holy jeez. I and since the Ditto went in here. Uh I concede that's slick. How am I supposed to tell which one is fake? Surely there's something different about Ditto's bio biology compared to a regular one. At the very least I can visit my office knowing Ark and Voss not going to let the dogs out. He probably would probably win against an Arcanine. Alright, let's uh Let's uh, go. Hi Chansey. Hi Chansey. Hi Chansey again. Bye Chansey. No. Oh! Convenient. Ultrasound. Now let's go find the diddle. Because this thing will let us see its organs. <laughs> uh, just kidding, it's skeleton. Because, like, dittos don't have organ, uh, like, normal biology of everything else. Now, where the heck is the. What is it? Okay, that's the Norman Arcanine. Let's check you. Uh, we need to check. You're also a normal one. Dr. Clementines. Uh, not Clementines. That doesn't have a skeleton. Accuse of being the ditto. Oh. <laughs> Cherub! Ow, ow, ow! Watch the bag! Arkenfoss, get the door! Arkenfoss! Why the heck did he leave? I would have remembered telling him to. Footprints. What kind of footprints? Human footprints. From the kennel to the door, Arkenvoss can't have made these. Or me. I don't believe it. The Ditto might have turned human. After 20 years of being here, I have the authority to call at least one emergency meeting. Brrrr! Everyone to the lounge! I know you're all wondering why I need to get you all in one place. Apart from Clementine, the Ditto's destroyed the only thing, only way to con of contacting uh, him. But seeing as it's been my responsibility to chase around the rogue Ditto, I believe it's also my responsibility to find it one last time. Hey, just tell them the Ditto's a human now. It can't do that. I saw it with my own eyes. Gentlemen. Yes, yes, I was... Didn't let me finish that, but okay. Anyways. Um, thank you. 
First of all, we're going to narrow down who is the ditto. The culprit destroyed my equipment, so I'll have to rely on eyewitnesses. Be thankful I don't need to give any of you an ultrasound scan. We need to be completely certain because then we force them back into their Pokeball. Naturally, I would have had my I would I should have mine on my belt. But don't they oh, but don't they only do that if they faint? I think that's what she's referring to, Marley. Now, I know I am a nurse joy, but as the last resort, I'll make my chance to use last resort on the imposter. Ah, she said it. She said it. <laughs> imposter. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I'm going to get her from my office. Moncherry, I deeply apologize. My ditto has been around these people for 20 years. Its disguise would be near near perfect. Hi, Chansey. Why are there two Chanseys? Hello, Chansey. Are you prepared to do some battling today? This is going to be hard to explain afterwards. Okay. Chansey? Did you ever see Mr. Dr. Garcia? You did? I think that's some something's up with that man. Between you and me, I was going to... Go, to last resort him as soon as we walked in, walked back into the room. Nothing about his behavior adds up. The teleporting, the hypnosis, the mo movement, everything. And the sooner we get this done, the better. The real one should be stuck outside, freezing to death if we don't. Quick, someone's coming. Dr. Garcia. Garcia, you son of a bee barrel. <laughs> Let's go. I have a I have a hutch. What? It turned into me? No, it turned into me. Uh calm down everyone. One of them is definitely the ditto. We've got a one in seven chance, down to a one in two. More like a one in one, that's clearly her. What do you mean? Which one? Ugh, I'm already confused. Then let's call her Aida too, because I'm clearly the original. She came in after me. Everyone, quiet. Look, it doesn't matter which one came in first. Chansey, if it's not her, attack me. That's my Larvesta! That's my Chansey. Fine, I'll give you a name. Inveda. Uh, thanks, Sokka. I, I hope you did enjoy the stream when you were here for it, and I hope you get to you are able to watch the rest of it later Um, What was your hunch again? Well, my hunch is that the imposter is really Garcia and the real one's stuck outside and he's going to freeze to death What's yours? But the door has been blocked. No There's no way I can answer that without making myself look bad can I? But if you break the door down, you won't find him because the real one is standing right here. And he's been in here the entire time. Nani? He isn't going to say anything, is he? So both of you are making very bold claims. I believe we'll be able to determine the fake by who has the most cracks in their stories. All in favor of three strikes, say aye. They all said aye. Huh. Oh. I've never- I've never gotten the opportunity to argue with myself. Do you think you'll like it? At the risk of sounding self-absorbed. Yes. Yes, I will. Your first point. One of you believes the real Garcia isn't here. One of you- one of you believes the real one is here. Um, first of all, we need to establish that the ditto is a near omnipotent. When it knows what it's doing. Face it, none of you knew that a ditto could cause so much trouble before now. Put simply, there's no way that Garcia is real. His ditto knows him better than any other trainer in this facility. Mon- Mon Dio- Mon Dui- Aida, how could you betray me like this? Then make him faint. Do it. What? No, the argument hasn't even been concluded. 
I know me. If I were if I were so completely sure who the imposter was, I'd do it without a second thought. I can't make easy decisions. So you aren't sure. Or do you know in your heart, in your heart of hearts, that, that he's not actually the imposter? But still. A, tr a Pokemon never attacks their trainer. So n now that we, so now, so we now know that Dr. Garcia likely isn't the Ditto. How? Like for her cry out loud is <laughs> the one that we saw enter might not have been real, but the one sitting here is. One of you two is the fake, but one of you per of you purposes that proposes that the real one got in without any of us knowing. How? As I said myself, there is only one entrance and one exit to this facility in the front door. How was another person supposed to get in without a fire type? After this, Garcia came in. The door was blocked by a snow stripper. Well, he teleported in. I followed his espion into his dorm. Where I saw it teleport Garcia through the walls of the building. He said something about how it had taken him to, to, to a locker room. Hold on, hold on. Do we have any evidence for this other than your hearsay? I could say the same to you. Could we please take this seriously? Someone else must have seen me. Yeah, Dr. Will. You were there when the Ditto escaped the lounge as an, an espion appeared in the left corridor. Ah, oh, yes, I was. And I could swear I picked up on something psychic. Yes, I saw her rush off. You must have seen it too. What? So one of you makes the claim that Garcia got inside and had full intention of going to the locker room. The other one denies that this was some kind of conspiracy. Alright, let's say Garcia did somehow get in and you can say with confidence he wanted to get to the locker room. Why didn't you follow him? I was hypnotized. No! At this point, she's jumping to Sharpedo. I was in his dorm by his, epi but with, by his espion with hypnosis. At this point, he went to the locker room unimpeded and tore a page out of the logbook. Order, order. Quiet, you. <laughs> that was the first thing destroyed tonight. The other, a tape with Garcia's most recent mission log. And I know for a fact that someone else in this room can confirm all of this. McLeod? You. You're saying... Garcia's the one that hypnotized me? That's... Yes, yes, I saw the rip a book in the locker room. Yes, I'm sure I saw an espion before I passed out. C can anyone back her up? Oi, one eyewitness is enough. She's implying that Garcia did all of this intentionally to get rid of something. Having two of him in here at the same time as a, as a distraction? These are some serious accusations. We don't even know what they are yet. She she said something about the locker room. That's where I got knocked out by some Pokemon. I don't know about you, but I've got to hear the rest. Who who what tapes? Why are we talking about tapes? That's that's what the Arcanine was destroying in Clementine's room. Correct, Doctor Arkin Boss. What's your point? Fine. Let's say Garcia did get inside and he did get in the locker room and he did get rid of his mission log. What is the point? Why is Garcia talking with talking with the one with Blur Vista? This is going to be difficult. The tapes were mission logs, recordings of back and forth between Dr. Clementine and Garcia, while one of them was vent venturing out. The logbook is how we kept track of who left and re-entered the facility, so we don't lose anyone. The thing all of these can tell you is. I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Everything that could have confirmed he was going out there to observe the local Epulian colony. But why? In that case, maybe he wanted to hide the fact that his ditto got away. Yes, this whole situation is embarrassing enough. Right, so we agree that he has something to hide. I saw the ripped book! And I heard the tapes! 
if we keep arguing like this, we'll he'll have a good reason to hide it. Stop it, stop it now. No. I believe he was trying to cover up was... An attack on wild Pokemon. Harkin Boss and I both listened to the tapes and they told me that. Garcia apparently has a habit of not stopping his team from attacking the Pokemon he's studying. I propose that is in this case, it might have gone too far. Wild, protected Pokemon were actually hurt. At best, he could lose his research grant. If things went bad, he would lose his job. And if the uncontrollable Pokemon defense did not stand up in court, he could go to prison. No. I never thought he could do, could do that. This wasn't just one time? Some people. And there's one more piece of evidence that proves that. It's because it disguised itself as... A beat-up Epoleon. No! I saw it with my own eyes. Its crown of... Its crown of horns was bent so far to the side that the metal edge cut into its forehead. I even guessed at the time that it came out of a Pokemon fight. But I had no idea it was a ditto just imitating what it saw. It led me to the water just beside the ship port. It, it raised its wings back up, back to me up against the edge of the ice, and I think it would have pushed me in. But, but what if this is a coincidence? I think we forgot one person. That'd be Dr. Clementine. They would have heard what happened on Garcia's expedition. If we were all running around trying to catch Ditto, he'd probably let the issue go. But we aren't. No! Your whole argument is that we need to go outside and rescue the scientists trapped out there. If I were you, which I am, I'd be the yelling at everyone to get out here there and let him in. Agreed. Someone go fetch them and we'll tell the whole story. Ahem. <clears throat> get out there and let them in! I'm I'm sorry for scaring you so bad. You know when I was in Epoleon. Oh, I'm fine. I I know you're probably feeling all sort of things towards Garcia right now, but he would never have let someone die. I liked being you. Hmm, I can tell. But being a nurse joy? No, I don't think you'd enjoy it. As much as I like it to be, it's not like being a detective. Or, at the very least, I'm I'm the only nurse joy left on the planet for whom that's it's still like at. But that's not what I said, though. I said I like being you. Oh? Got you there, didn't I? Yeah. Hey, you know, let me quickly save because uh, my thing is about to die. My computer. Crap! I meant to save. Holy jeez. Okay. Um, let me just... I know, um, plug this in. I need to plug in my computer. Holy jeez. Okay. I saved because I was afraid the game would crash if I plugged it in and... Ah, Ida, there you are. Hello, dog dude. Er, thank you for bringing this to our attention. Oh, and if you're wondering about this, Garcia tried to make a break for the door. Aw, huh? oh, ditto. I know I've put you gentlemen through a lot, but when you find the time, 
I'd rather not spend the rest of this They're tied to this yacht fairy <laughs> Yawn I might turn in for the night soon Should I? Yes, let's go to sleep One day before ice break Let's... What is this? Oh. <laughs> Do you see it? That star. You know them. It's my mother. Your friend. Their will. Do you see it now, Ida? Ah! Uh, what in the name of Arceus was that? I should go make breakfast. I just drink some water. So I heard this voice, but it's not someone's actual voice. It's like someone else was talking to me by hijacking my internal monologue. I couldn't move my head, I was staring at one star, and it died. Then all of them did. Uh, I see what's happening here. Stars, infinity, brain hijacking. That wasn't a dream, Ida. That would have been something like a gothic television, or any kind of second type vision, really. Nothing to be scared of. Huh? Hey Kaz, I've had that dream too. Same weird message, same star, same everything. I thought it was time for me to take a break from the galaxy simulator. Is this just a thing everyone's dreaming about now? Oh. I was about to say it might have been on the accident of Gotha teleport, but clearly that's not the case. Why? Why? Did you have the dream too? No, I haven't. Not for about a week at this point. And that's bad? No, it's not bad if she wants to communicate to someone that isn't me. Or, it seems anyone that isn't me. Do you think someone should- Talk to her? Of course, it's probably something important. And I presume you're volunteering. Yes, doctor. Oh, please, call me Cassandra. I'll go tell Tagatha Tell to meet you in your office, and I'll go out on the ocean today. I noticed she's a little seasick of the sea, so I'll work for it'll work for both of us. How's that sound? Besides, you've always liked psychic types, haven't you? Of course. Not to say I have a bias, but I do. I. Um, I'm actually going to stop it here today. Um, because we've been streaming, playing the game for a while, and I rather... I know the rest of it is very difficult and long, so like, um, I think I'll stop it here today. Um, uh, we'll be able to see the rest of what happens, um, uh, next time on stream. I don't mind doing that, because like, this is actually a really fun game. I do definitely want to play it soon. Don't know when, probably tomorrow, maybe. Because this game is actually relatively fun. So, yeah. I hope you guys- Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I'll catch you guys in the next video or live stream. Bye!